This is the Mark Scoob for Checkpoint 5 in Wave. So uh, refraction and total internal reflection are the key concepts in this one. First question is just a definition. So explain what is meant by critical angle and total internal reflection. Uh, the part people tend to miss on this is this idea that this can only ever happen when the ray is going from a more dense medium to a less dense medium. So if you remember the experiment you would have probably done in about uh, year 11 perhaps. Okay, with the semicircular glass block, the light can totally internally reflect when it's at a large angle going from the glass and not coming out into the air. But you'll never get total internal reflection going the other way because if the light's coming this way, then it will always refract into the block because it's refracting closer to the normal. Okay, the other key point here is that all of the light is reflected. Okay, so even when we have got this kind of diagram, you will get some reflection, just not complete, not total reflection. Okay, here's a slightly unusual question, but quite a good one, I think, to make you think about what's going on. So this is to do with how much, um, how tightly can you curve an optic fiber, and how does the radius of curvature around the bend and the radius of the actual core of the fibre, how are these related? Um, so you think about the light coming down here, and we want this light to totally internally reflect. So this angle here must be at least a critical angle, um, theta c. So you need to look at this diagram and imagine what you've got here is this length here, which is r, and then this length here, that's from here up to there. This is r, the radius of curvature, plus the little r, the radius of the fiber. Okay, this angle here is theta c, so this is the opposite, this is the hypotenuse, so that gives us sine of theta um, cannot be less than r over r plus r, the opposite over the hypotenuse. So a little bit unusual, but quite an interesting question there. Okay, this one a bit more standard. So we've got um, this um, this block, uh, empty fish tank in fact, from the side is made from a glass with a refractive index of 1.5, so this is the edge of the fish tank. The ray of light is incident at 35 degrees as shown. Calculate the angle theta, so again we're on, we're on n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2, okay, which gives us n1. This is in air, so this is 1 times sine 35 equals n2, which was 1.5 times sine theta 2. So sine theta 2 equals sine 35 over 1.5, Okay, which gives us the angle of refraction uh, theta 2 to be the sine minus 1 of that expression, sine 35 over 1.5, which gives theta equals um, 22.5 degrees. Okay, so this angle here is 22, I'm going to just draw it in there because it's a bit small, 22.5 degrees. Okay, uh, calculate the critical angle. Okay, so this is glass air, so sine theta c equals 1 over n, okay, because we're going into air. Um, so this gives us theta c equals sine minus 1 of 1 over 1 1.5, which is your normal critical angle you'll have met when you were uh, back low down the school, 42 degrees. Tempting here to think, oh, well, 22 and a half is less than 42, but of course that's not the angle we want, okay? The angle we want, right, is the angle from the normal here, and this angle here, Okay, well, this is 22.5, so that angle there is 67.5 degrees, okay? This is the right angle, so that adds up to um, 180 degrees in that triangle. It's reflected, so this angle is also 67.5. Okay, when we go up here, this angle is also 67.5, so again it reflects. Okay, it comes up to here. Okay, but now what have we got? Well, now we're back here where this is 67.5, so this angle's 22.5, so now we're coming back out into the air. 
okay, because this is now less than the critical angle, okay, this is the same calculation as this in reverse, you can go through it if you like, but this will give us 35 degrees again for our angle up there, okay. It does ask you to put in all those angles on the way up, so quite a lot of work to do there. Okay, this question, we've got two prisms made from different sorts of glass, okay, making a rectangular block, and crucially, get your head around this, medium 1 has a smaller refractive index than medium 2. So, as it goes from medium 1 into medium 2, it will refract towards the normal. Okay, so the ray of light is incident as shown. Sketch with that calculation, the path followed by the refractive ray as it enters medium 2. Okay, now the crucial thing here is you need to draw this normal in. Try to draw it carefully, make that 90 degrees, because this angle here must be bigger than the angle where it refracts. So the first thing to notice is this is going upwards, if you like, on this diagram, because this angle is less because it's refracted towards the normal. Okay, when it comes out, it's going to speed up. So the angle when it leaves the block has got to be bigger. This angle here must be less than this angle after it's come out of the block. So you need to draw that nicely for two marks there. Then the reflected beam, so again try to make these angles about right so these two angles are equal as it reflects from this normal. And then again when it comes out, it's speeding up not as much as this one did, but it's still speeding up as it comes out. Okay, so again it refracts away from the normal, so this angle right, is smaller than this angle after it's left the block. Okay, give the angle of incidence at the boundary between medium 1 and medium 2, so that's um, this angle here that we want. Um, well, again, we need to do a bit of working around some triangles in whatever kind of mathematical way you like. I think the easiest one is to look at this great big triangle here and think that this angle in here, this is 20 degrees. Okay, so this angle here is 70 degrees. Perhaps you can see that from being the same angle as there. And then, because this is 90, this angle here is also 20 degrees in there. Okay, so that's just 20 degrees there. Calculate the angle of refraction. Well, again, we're on n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2. Okay, so um, n1 had a refractive index of 1 point, was 1.4. So 1.4 times sine 20 equals 1.6 sine theta 2, so sine theta 2 equals 1.4 sine 20 over 1.6 theta 2 equals 17.4 degrees. Okay, and then the last bit, which doesn't really depend on anything else in this question, so hopefully, even if you went a bit wrong there, you can sort this one out. This is where we're just going from the medium 2 back into the air. So this again is just sine theta c equals 1 over n. Uh, that's 1 over 1.6. So theta c is sine minus 1 of 1 over 1.6, which gives theta c equals 38.7 degrees.